they, all those quarterbacks are doing a great job. You know, this is day 21 of practice. Uh, I guess it's 10 days until uh, our first game, and all of them are competing and doing a great job. With him taking the majority of the reps Saturday, I mean, is that kind of an inclination that he's, he is the number one guy? No, there's no decisions been made. How close are you to having five linemen that you're settled in on? We're not. You know, it's, it's every group is competing, uh, and we want that because it brings the best out of everybody. So we'll just keep tinkering around and putting guys in there, in and out, and uh, when the time comes, we'll make that decision. And when do you want to have it by? I don't know yet. I don't know that yet. You know, we'll, we'll, we're, like I said, we're 10 days out from game time, so when the time comes, we'll make that decision. Can you, can you sense that, that build-up? You're, you're going to be on a plane a week from tomorrow. Can you, can you start sensing the excitement? Yeah, you, yeah you do. You yeah. do. You know, it's, uh, it's always fun to go try to go play somebody else, you know, because you've been playing against each other. And, and, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just one day at a time right now. But you do sense it, yeah. So yeah. Looking, at, looking at your receivers, you've got an interesting mix. You've got a bunch of young guys who have not played at all and, and some veterans as well. What's the most interesting thing you've learned about your receiving core? I think they are, uh, you know, they have very good speed. They're, they got good hands. They, they catch really well. They're disciplined in their routes. A lot of positive things. A lot of guys making a lot of catches, blocking really well. Tim, I had asked DJ if he'd experienced anything. Kind of piggybacking on Brennan's question, but the bunker mentality, the, the whole submarine thing—is this a first for you? Have you ever been a part of anything oh, kind of yeah. like this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. With Coach Harbaugh, I think this is my 11th year with him going 12. Yep. Well, I mean, as, as far as like the specific going and the bunker mentality and locking down. That yeah, kind of I think just it's it. You know, when you're around each other and there's not anybody in the facility, you can really concentrate on what you need to learn, how you, how you need to do it. You can really get build a relationship with your coaches uh, and um, really get to know your teammates and, and, and get a trust. And uh, it's, a, it's a real fun time when you do that. Does the element of surprise in a first game play into how kind of closed mouth everybody wants to be leading up to it? No, I mean, I think that, you know, as coaches and players, you're always trying to find the best way that you're going to go into a game and put a good game plan together and uh, that you want to practice all the looks, you know, and, and you want to have a, all the different situations down. So I don't think there's any surprises. I think you prepare to be successful. With that in mind, is there a hard date for planning purposes to have a, a final depth chart in place? No, that? no, there's not. You know, we'll, we'll find a time when we decide to do that. But it's, uh, I think, like I said before, when you compete every day, it brings the best out of you as an individual. And, and as me as a coach, because I'm walking in here every day trying to be the best I can be as a coach, and they're trying to be the best as, as a players, and that's, that's the best thing is you elevate your game. And um, that's, it's about, you know, it's life lessons, you know. It's, it's about competing. You had a spring with, with Shane. How have you seen him improve? Oh, unbelievable. Really just uh, the way he takes command of the huddle, uh, the way he can, you know, spit out a play. Um, you know, the, the, the way his drops, uh, Jed's done a great job, Coach Hobbit's done a great job, the way he's throwing the ball. There's a lot of, a lot of change from him, and uh, he is a year older, too, so I mean, that makes a difference. I was told that he made a, at least one nice running play Saturday. What do you think of Shane's mobility? Oh, I think he, did, he can really run. I think it's, uh, you know, one of his strengths. I think, uh, you know, he does a nice job. He can move around in the pocket like all of them do. You know, they can find a quiet spot, and, or they have to get out and run and scramble, you know. You know, it's something that's it's really good. And that's one thing you look for a quarterback. You look for a quarterback and make a play when there's no play to be made. You know, and that's the great ones that can do that. And uh, we have those guys that are here at University of Michigan, which is exciting. Are you guys close to seeing if you got a quarterback that's really stood out here and taken this thing? No, like I said, we're rotating a lot of guys through, and uh, we'll make that decision when the time's ready to be made. How far down has it been whittled, I should say? Uh, there, it hasn't. You know, it really hasn't. It's uh, those guys that are competing. How much of Jake did you watch on the film? Because he's had two years of starting, and how much have you used just exclusively? You know what you've seen. Is there a mix? I mean, we, we've we've wa we've watched him on film. I mean, you do that when you know you're going to go to recruit somebody, and then uh, and then you watch him in our own practice film. So, is there a difference? I mean, do you see an evolution of him over the years? Do you see things that in this camp he's made strides? Yeah, I think that he's done a good job learning our system, you know, and then be able to call the plays and command the huddle and step up and get the snap and do his job. Do you expect anyone will know who that quarterback will be before the first snap against Utah? I'm sorry? Do you expect that, that he'll announce that quarterback before the first snap? I, I would snap think so, yeah. I think so when he starts your first game, you'd have to do that, yeah. No, I meant outside of the program, sorry. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> outside of the program, will anyone announce? Will we know who that quarterback is before well, the first Well, at one point in time, yeah, somebody will announce it, yes. 
What is your, I know you've been asked this, but your opinion of playing two quarterbacks? Uh, I've, there's times you can do that. You know, you could play two quarterbacks if you'd like to. Sure. Have you done that? I mean, when you've had, you know, one um, guy play a quarter and then the next guy. We've done it in some different places. We've done that, you know. You know, put another guy in and things. Just, it's not, is it ideal? Or is uh, it? It's, the bottom line is you're preparing to play the game. You want to put the best personnel on the field to try to win the game. And so if that's part of your package, then you do it. Mm -hmm. If it's not, you don't feel like you gain advantage, then you wouldn't do it.